Hey everyone and welcome to Razor's Edge Games.org. This is Foundation. Last week we looked at, uh, or actually a couple days ago, we looked at, uh, I can't even remember, something a man. It was really good. Uh, but this is the other true love um, for building simulations. They did add menus. Um, this is a game that just continues to grow. Um, it is in early access, so that's to be expected. Um, they've added modular building to, since I played last, to shops. Um, you can add different markets uh, for selling goods. Um, just a lot of changes. It's uh, really quite a beautiful game to look at. The music score is really good. I love that. Uh, there's a Scottish tune they play. This is one of the few games that I've not turned the music off. <laughs> Very ambient. Um, the only thing that I really struggle with is that it doesn't scale to my resolution for my monitor. Um, so it's kind of hard to read being an old guy, all these little boxes. But it's nice, I mean, the, the game literally gives you all the information you need at the click of a, a button. I usually keep the village list up. This isn't a how-to, because the game's changing. I just really want to show you how beautiful it is. Um, the goal is basically, right now, um, there's not really per se a win or lose. Um, well, there's a lose. You can starve to death. But setting up trade routes, building your reputation, you do have a status uh, overall of how well you're doing in the kingdom, which, by the way, the king will constantly nag you with requests for bread. Usually stuff I don't have, so I have to tell him, bug off. But you can see there's the clergy. Um, if I click on any building, where's my church? Oh, over here. Now I've seen some really cool churches in other videos. But you just click on the edit button, you can add the expansions. Um, each, each building typically has like a core. I think they're going to do this with more and more um, models. Where you actually have the build ability to build out. So, like, if I want to drop another tower or door, you know, you just pull it in. Um, well, that just floated right off there. I don't know what's going on there. But it just snaps in. And you can grow it. Um, well, I thought... I'm gonna have to play around with that more. That is something I have not played with. That's my fault. You do need to put a door on and tower. Pick the bell sounds. Oh, there's the market. Um, I think you can hear that. There you go. But the building is pretty simple. Uh, there's a menu. It would be nice for some of these to go away. Um, everything comes with a cost, including land. But we need a bakery, and I need 300 gold. Uh, the problem is, in my trade routes, I've overextended. And I know you, because of my scaling, you're going to have trouble seeing this. But um, there's a trading menu. So basically, you can up or down how many resources you want to sell and so that bakery costs 300 gold when I only have 30 I average around 30 there's no way like now it's 98 um, so I have to fluctuate my income yeah we just lost somebody because of unhappiness well see you later um, but you can click on each one, each person, see what their needs are, whether they're being met, if they're happy, unhappy, what their role is. Um, assigning 
people to to tasks is basically uh, clicking on. So right now I have all these people that aren't employed. So let's give some people some jobs. So if I click on the gathering, the gathering hut. Now well, I already got three people on that. And three on that. I really don't have anything to assign jobs. So the idea is just build another building. So we'll do that. We'll just make a make another lumber mill. Again, that's gonna come with a cost. Oh, not two. Alright, we got rid of one. So they're waiting for a builder. Now you gotta remember, this is still an alpha, so you're gonna see a lot of things with like the um, the model name for the asset, like warehouse socket underscore one. Camera views are awesome. You can literally pan around um, holding the mouse button down. It's very smooth. Is this still waiting? Okay, we got a builder. Now I can raise the priority. And you can see, that we can zoom in here, you can watch him build. And I love games that allow you to do this, that basically don't just plop a building in, but you actually watch the construction. a backer of this game I think uh, within the first 100 I was pretty excited about it still am okay so it's up so now we can assign these unemployed and it's just basically clicking so all the it goes to the unemployed pool and starts pulling people out so now we're gonna get wood so now let's sell more wood click on that trade route they take wood you have to look at the routes you have open, and I have two. Um, no, they want lumber. They're buying lumber, so we need a sawmill. So let's build another sawmill. Right in that general vicinity. You can spin buildings around. Alright, so wait for a builder on that. If I zoom out, here's the territory map. Gathering is pretty simple. Um, you can use a paintbrush and you've got all these things. So uh, you can do residential. And when you click on them, it basically says what's preferred and what's not. And that changes as you grow up your, your area. Extraction. You want to make sure that all of your like trees are selected, which you can see I've painted them in. Uh, reforestation, if, re if you want them to put trees back. And these are going to start to populate as you build the buildings that do it. You can also restrict land. Say I don't want, um, I don't want them going in a specific area. I can paint those out and they'll show up in red. You just hold the opposite mouse button and it puts them back. So to buy the next piece of land, if I go to boundaries or territory, it's 500 gold. I don't know who would want to buy that. You can abandon a territory. We don't want to do that. I really want this piece of land for development or this one for the resources. But as you can see, you have a lot of flexibility on just what you can do as far as uh, controlling your workers. Um, 
this is the crop production. You also have to, you can reset the crop field and repaint it. So you pretty much dictate and drive everything in this game. And they're building my sawmill. This should give me money that I need selling uh, planks. Uh, to the, uh, as you can see, I'm going in the negative here in my funding. It's really a hard game to master. I will not lie. I've watched, uh, countless streamers that are in our community and video media channels, um, really struggle with, uh, the perfect setup. It's all just based on balance. And... Some are better than others. Some have scrapped, completely scrapped and start o started over. Um, I think Montoya Gaming, there's so many people that cover this. Yeah, I really didn't need to do it. This is for the curator review, um, which I'm going to update as the game finalizes towards full release. I don't like leaving an old video for a curation video on an early access. I mean, look at that landscape. That's just really a beautiful skyline. Ambient sounds. I mean, it really sounds like a bustling, uh, busy city or village. We're not a city yet. I love their little cute faces. Funny story, um, I did give away a copy on Twitter. It was the first person to identify a screenshot. And it was literally just like three characters. You couldn't see anything. I was zoomed way in. And guess who won? Another developer. <laughs> and he took the copy. I was so, f I was flabbergasted. I said, you got one or two choices. I'll either buy your game or uh, you can have the, co the the key to the game. He goes, I'll take the key. <laughs> so, you know, just interesting stuff in the community uh, with indie developers. So they just came out with a patch today, which um, they added some stuff. I think it was mostly fixes stability issues probably with the last patch it does have a tutorial already so when you start out it's you're not starting out blind you can see this guy cutting his tree down he's really working hard at it But I highly recommend, if you like the building simulations and strategy games, th this is another one that you definitely want in your library. Um, I mean, I can't have enough of these because I bounce back and forth. I'll play one for a while and then I'll play another one. Um, I mean, they're all good. I don't think there's a law that says you gotta be pinned to one builder game. I mean, there's games that I still play I don't even talk about because uh, they've been out so long and they're old old building games so I mean in a nutshell that's foundation I mean there's so much more um, you can read all the descriptions and the roadmap of where they're going with this. Um, and they're active on the forums and on Discord. So, I mean, feel free. Just um, interact with, uh, follow them on Twitter. 
check out their Steam page. Put it on your wish list if it's something you like. I mean, they're, they're, I know it's alpha. A lot of people don't like early access. That's fine. Um, there's not a lot of uh, what I call bad karma or um, I don't know what is the word um, toxic uh, chatter in the in the forums, which is a, a really a good sign on Steam. It's a really good community backing the game and playing the game. And I think you'll enjoy it. So, um, we gave it a 9 out of 10. I don't even remember why. I did. Maybe it should be a 10 of a 10. Uh, I think it was because of the scale. The UI scale. And that's probably going to change. So, I mean, a 9 out of 10. That's pretty freaking good. Um, there's only been, like three games ever that I've given a 10 to and how can you give uh, that goes back to my old rant last thing I'll talk about is how do you review a game unless it's an early access pure access flip or uh, asset flip you know they've reused uh, store-bought assets and they're, they've added no unique uh, <laughs> content to the game and you look up the publisher and they release a game about every six months. I mean, it's real obvious. But how do you give a game a negative score when it's not even done? I just, I, it blows my mind. You, you can't. Now, I've asked Steam countless times a petition that curators have an ability to be um, informational only. Why can't buyers do that as a Steam customer? Why can't I just put information only, leave my comment, I refunded, I did whatever. If you have nothing good to say, you know, maybe you didn't hate the game. Because I've seen a lot of people thumbs down and they're like, uh, well, I really enjoyed the game, but this. I mean... A bottom line, it, it, it affects the overall sales and reputation of the game. Gets them off, I mean, takes them off the front page. Um, it's just not good for the developer or the game. Or anybody else that's trying to find a good game. Uh, when there's nothing really out there to play. So, that's just my two cents and my little rant about... Steam curation and versus uh, a user's or a buyer's review. But definitely check this game out. Follow them on Twitter. All their information will be in the video. Um, in a comment or the more field if you click the box down. And uh, if you want to leave a comment, you can't do it on my channel anymore because I just... I. It's not because I don't love my viewers, it's because I just don't want to deal with all the rants and uh, negative comments. So leave a comment on the video on Steam. I mean, if, you, if it's really that important to you to tell me how horrible my channel is or uh, how horrible my video is. <laughs> Because I really, I, honestly, it just makes me laugh more. Um, no offense, but. Because I'm not competing with anyone. I don't know. If you guys want to see more of this game as it develops, um, you will. Because I, as the game progresses, I keep doing more and more videos. So this is Foundation. Right now. Alpha 1.1.6 and a bunch of other numbers. It's um, going to continue to get better. Um, and there's a ton, I mean a ton to do already. It's totally worth the price tag that they're asking right now at its current state. Ah, uh, here he is. Ah, oh, great. I clicked the wrong button. Let's see, I got 30 days to get... No, 60 days and 30 cherries. I think we can handle that. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, again, I always appreciate it.
I appreciate the community and all of our media coverage streamers. Um, you guys work freaking countless hours. I don't know how you do it. Um, if you're interested, just poke me on Twitter. We can add you. We have a feature page for your your uh, channel, or we have a list. I mean, if, and the list also goes in every video. So, I mean, we want to help you grow. I don't. I don't really care about followers. I just care about these indie devs and your channels. People that cover indie. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.